Hello everybody and welcome to another Weathering Waves video. Today we are going to be reacting to a video by Ragnarok. This guy has almost 600 subscribers. Maybe if one of you, or maybe if a few of you go over there after watching me react to this guy and you realize that this video is probably going to be pretty good because I've watched some of his other videos and they are pretty good. Um, and this one is from a few days ago. I just learned about this guy very recently, so I'm kind of catching up. But this one I wanted to save for a react because... The title sounds very interesting and just seems to over encapsulate, at least if I look at the chapters, kind of what we're what, what we can expect in weathering waves and, you know, what we can, you know, take to think about what we're going to do during launch. Uh, but yeah, Ragnarok, almost 600 subs. We should get him over the line. I just subscribed to him. So, yeah. And also make sure you check out some of his videos. Let's get into it. All right, guys, Weathering Waves is looking hype. Not too long away from the True. official release, so I just wanted to go through some things that I'm looking forward to about this It's even closer now. A lot of you would be interested in hearing. Now, one thing I've got to say about the devs for Weathering Waves is that they are seriously generous with their rewards, and I'm hoping... See, the, I've heard that about Kuro Games uh, because of Punishing Grey Raven. I've never played Punishing Grey Raven, but I've heard Kuro Games is just generally very, very free-to-play friendly in the way that they give a lot of rewards through either just straight up rewards or codes or just features in the game and uh if he talks about it with the banner um that's definitely that's definitely a big one Hoping this will become the norm within gacha games in general going forward true i i really think that uh i mean I, this is my second time pausing in 17 seconds lamau react to andy by the way um i think that this is between honkai star rail being extremely free to play friendly and being being very very fair just by simply playing the game you can get one in every two or three characters. Um, and if you save for a patch, you can probably get both characters in a patch. Of course, it, it has a little bit of luck involved in that. But assuming, you know, you can get a little bit of luck on your side sometimes, uh, I would say that's about the ratio. At least that's about the ratio that I'm at. Um, and maybe in order to get to a spot like that, maybe you should get the pass and the, uh, like the jades over the course of the month pass. I'm sure that helps a lot for sure. And um, getting the battle pass, which gives you like 680 gems whenever you buy it every time. But that's only every like month and a half. Um, but yeah. Yeah, overall, very, very generous. Very, very good. That's something that I like a lot about Honkai Star Rail. And it seems like Weathering Waves is going to be very much the same. So, On release, we will be greeted with the seven day login event that will allow us to pick up Sanhua on the fifth day. Cool. Now, a free character is great, but Sanhua is going to be a really good 4-star DPS you're able to pick up for free. The nice really? aspect within Weathering Waves is that the 4-stars are actually very good, and just as I said, are better than some 5-stars. I've heard that, by the way. Um, There's this red-haired 4-star. I can't remember the name of the character at this very moment. Maybe he'll mention it at some point in this video. But it's like the second or third best character in the uh, DPS in the game. Probably second best, maybe Calcharo is number one, and then that would be the second best, at least until uh, Yinlin uh, releases, uh, or at least until the uh, the two banner DPSs release, and then probably like fourth best DPS, but yeah. Dunjin is another four star deck. Oh, there we go. A yep. lot of content because she's just Jesus Christ, gonna look like I pre watched, bro. Uh, yeah, Dunjin. Dunjin, insanely, insanely good. What, what was he about to say? I, w I don't, I don't want to miss it. And some five stars. Dunjin is another four star that can solo a lot of content because she's just that correct. Yep. Hopefully they don't nerf these four stars on release. But with the login event, you're getting some standard. I heard some news that possibly Dunjin is going to get uh is going to get a slight nerf for release. I hope that that's not the case, but if it is, whatever. You know, it is what it is. Uh by the way, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Standard banner pulls, a strong DPS for free, and even some premium pulls. Go oh, by the way, um, the Rover, which is the main character, the Trailblazer, um, the Traveler, in this game is probably the strongest out of any main character in any game. Maybe that changes with Harmony, uh, Trailblazer, and Honkai Star Rail. I know that it's... Uh, Harmony, Trailblazer, and Honkai Star Rail, by the way, is insanely good, guys, but let's not focus on Honkai Star Rail too much. 
Going over another event now, once you start the game, would be the Awakening Journey, and this is something I'm really happy about. It will be a permanent event, so it doesn't really matter when yeah, you Yeah, this is for game. reaching different level breakpoints. Huh? the game and you level up your union level, which is just your account level, essentially, you will yeah. hit some milestones and obtain some pretty nice rewards. I wonder if this is in replacement of, like, the pom-pom rewards, like how you get a little bit of rewards at every level in Honkai Star Rail. I wonder if it's only, like, every 10 levels in this game, or every, yeah, every at 5 levels and then every 10 levels after that. I wonder if that's the case, or if this is on top of per level rewards. That would be interesting. When you hit level 35, you will obtain up to 40 standard banner pulls and a free 5-star weapon at level 45. That's pretty Firstly, nuts. with the standard banner pulls, this is going to be huge, since players will be able to target a specific 5-star they want from the standard banner, which is guaranteed within 50 pulls. Yeah, by the way, this is insane. Um, So, you know how after... 300 pulls on the standard banner in Honkai Star Rail, we were able to just choose a character and just unlock them instantly. Um, this is similar to that, but this is literally like the first pulls that we ever do on the account. Like, this is like, uh, okay, also in Honkai Star Rail, it's just the thing that I can compare it to the most. Um, because a lot of the systems are very, very similar to the Hoyoverse games because it is a direct competitor. Um, Whenever you start the game and you get that banner that guarantees you a five star at the end of it, uh, they literally have that in this game, except instead of it being a random five star, like it was a random five star and I got Hemiko on my account, it is you get to select the character. Straight up, you get to pick it. A lot of people are saying uh, Verena is really good, but Verena is just like, it, mostly because she's a, a, a really good support. The problem with Verena in my eyes is that, you know, you want to pull for, like, she will eventually get out, uh, she will get outscaled, she will get power crept, every character here will get power crept. What you can do though and what you should do is pull for what you want, and Calcharo is what I want. Now Calcharo and Yinlin, who is going to be the second banner of the game, um, is an insanely good combo. I learned that from uh, Lal Shinya. Able to target a specific <clears throat> five star they want from the standard banner, which is guaranteed within 50 pulls. With Honkai Star Rail, they were very generous to add the feature for a guaranteed random five star within 50 pulls on the beginner banner. But uh, there you go. Waves, we are actually able to start the game with exactly who we want, which is still hard to believe. So this allows. Imagine if you just got to select Bronya and say, Bronya "Yeah, I want Bronya." The character they want. Seriously, been there and done that too many times than I would like. Not just going to gloss over oh, the three five oh, really? at level 45. In majority of gacha games, picking up the weapon equivalent is always even more of a mission than picking up the 5 star character. So us guessing a free 5 star weapon is also insane to me. So it's basically you get a free 5 star light cone. Um, and by the way, I, I'm pretty sure that is a selector as well. Like you, It gives you a few options and you get, you get to straight up click on which one you want and then get it. It's really, really good. Really, really generous. To me, I don't believe it is confirmed whether the five star weapon will be a selector or not. But it the is. fact that we can select which five star character we want, I would be surprised if we wouldn't be able to pick which five star weapon we would want. Mm -hmm. So if the weapon is a selector, we would be able to pick up the five star weapon that is best in slot for the three five star we can pick up from the standard banner. It yep. almost does feel like cheating at this point. Moving yep. on to a very unique aspect in this game being echoes. Echoes would be the equivalent to relics or equipment <clears throat> that you can use on your characters. In majority of gacha games, you would farm these pieces in a domain kind of like mode that uses in-game stamina. Now in Weathering Waves, Echoes just drop from defeating enemies in your world. This applies to bosses and just normal enemies. So I think this, this is so wild. Technically, you could farm for hours and hours upon end. Now this is the part I'm looking forward to. Let's say you clear all of the enemies in your world, you can just head over to your friend's world and farm Echoes with them. You can wild. both defeat enemies and collect Echoes together, so really you can just keep hopping from world to world to farm with other players. The multiplayer aspect now has a bit more incentive to actually team up with other players since you would be able to farm a ton more Echoes and with the two of you, you can clear through enemies a lot quicker. In games like The co-op in this game is so cool. <clears throat> it's so badass. Like Genshin, multiplayer was a bit underwhelming you could say since you wouldn't benefit as much when you could just farm stuff by yourself and a whole lot quicker. So it's nice to see that the devs have thought of a way to make multiplayer more meaningful. Echoes, as I said, is like equipment within this game since they provide stats for your characters. By the way, by the way, make sure you guys check out my video that's upcoming. It, it actually might have already came out. Um, 
Let me just do a quick check here. Uh, I'm going to do a very quick check. When does, when does that video come out? And when does this video come out? So I go over the web event. Okay, it actually, so when this video releases, it'll be on the 11th. And this video uh, that I'm talking about, the web event showcase, where I went over like what you do in, with the uh, event on the actual Weathering Waves site, uh, where you can pre-register and basically pick yourself a free guaranteed at uh rover level eight once you reach level eight it'll instantly be teleported into your mailbox it's a a five star um echo so you basically get a so imagine you loaded into honkai star rail and at trailblazer level um trailblazer level eight you just got a legendary item and at that point like all your items are like all your relics on your characters are like green and blue and you're like well, i don't want to waste time putting points into these if you complete this web event online that i went over in the video that released yesterday on this channel you will be able to get yourself a free guaranteed legendary echo the moment that you hit level eight in weathering waves it'll just automatically be teleported to you so Make sure you take advantage of that 100%. That is definitely a massive recommendation here by me. Um, and a lot of people made videos on it uh, to talk about it. But yeah, just go to the website and do it. Uh, it's very, very important. It is very, very good. And also make sure you pre-register. That way you can get all the pre-register rewards as well. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm going to be streaming Weathering Waves uh, all day on the 22nd of mar uh 22nd of may which is the released date so when this video comes out like i said the 11th it'll be 11 days until release uh oh, yeah yeah 11 um it'll be 11 days till release of the game so i'm really excited i am literally shitting and farting in in coming wanting that day to come faster so that i can like so, so we can jump into this game together it's gonna be so fun you know the standard crit rate attack percent hp percent etc i'll be streaming it if uh youtube allows me because i tried to stream like two nights ago uh, from the day i'm recording this which is the 8th uh, of may and yeah it just didn't let me it kept failing because youtube streaming just does that sometimes it's very unreliable and then i tried to just be like hey all right fine i'll go back to streaming on twitch sometimes whenever youtube fails me and then i tried to do that and then because uh i, I can't remember what happened but now i need oh it signed me out it forced me to do two two factor authentication and i changed my phone number so I can't do that until like the process goes through for getting my phone number changed, which I submitted the request like two days ago to do that. And it's still, it still has not gone through yet. They're still processing it or whatever the hell that means. Bro, just let me, can I access my own fucking accounts? Like, are we serious? I, I tried because this all comes off the back of, uh, this all comes off the back of Robin releasing in Hawkeye Star Rail. And I was going to stream me doing the trials me throwing a few polls at her, you know, all the videos that came out, even me doing some of the story for it. And it was going to be really exciting and really fun. And uh, then uh, YouTube decided it didn't want to work. And then Twitch decided I don't have a, I'm not allowed to sign into my Twitch account. Like, bro, what the, what, like, what the hell are we saying, dude? Anyway. Yeah, what a yap. However, they also have another feature in which you can use specific star, yapper, bro. the enemies you have defeated within combat. Yeah. So you would be able to switch the echo out in the middle of a boss fight to attack the boss, and after a few seconds, they would switch back out. So with echoes, they are a bit more than just equipment in this game, and are really powerful in terms of value. You it's do... it's really cool. Like, whenever you use the echo ability for your main echo, uh, you, you like, transform into that monster for, like, and, and you do a thing. Like this one says, you echo so transform into the Frillian Baron Gall for a kick. If the kick hits, it'll be followed by a pursuit attack. The kick causes 140, uh, whatever, and causes a bunch more damage. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty good. It's you pretty have cool. Rarity of echoes you are able to obtain, just like in majority of gachas, being three, four, and faster rarity. 
So of course you would want Fire Star Echo, so farming another player's worlds is going to be clutch in trying to pick up those higher rarity echoes. Yep. Now diving into the most difficult content this game has to offer, Gacha. When it comes to pulling some Yo banner characters, you are guaranteed to pull a 5 star within 80 summons and there is a 50-50 chance of pulling the banner character. If you are unlucky and you pull a- That's actually slightly more uh, kind than Honkai Star Rail, which I think is 90. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But I thought it was every 90 summons you are guaranteed, but usually people get it a lot sooner, like in, in the soft pity zone past like 75, but I thought it was 90, maybe it's not, but yeah, this game has 80, so that's pretty cool. A standard banner 5 star, the next 5 star you pull would be the banner character. There is no real confirmation on whether or not there is a soft pity on premium banners, but I would expect that to be in the game. Okay. I would guess the soft That's awesome. So it's literally the same exact. Same exact system as Genshin and Honkai. At least I don't, I don't know a lot about Genshin, but at least Honkai Star Rail. Where if you fail, you have a 50-50% chance of receiving the character whenever you get a legendary. If you don't receive it the first time, you guaranteed get it the next time. Soft pity to be roughly 15 pulls before the hard pity of 80 summons, so hopes are they do implement that as going to 80 could be a bit rough. One of the first five stars to drop on release oh. would be Yin Lin, and I think it goes without saying we are all going in for her. Yes! Is a Mother is coming home. Else. Plus, good googly. Mahoogly. Um, plus, it looks like the really, really strong four star is going to be on the banner. I forgot the name again. Oh, oh, never mind. I think, I think it's that one. Never mind. I, I might be wrong. But, the first five stars to so buy duplicates from the shop using premium. A special feature with 5 star characters is that you can buy duplicates from the shop using premium currency. So after saving enough premium currency, you are able to buy duplicates of the characters you have pulled. So rather than having to potentially wow. spend 160 summons for a duplicate of a character you would really like, such as Yin Lin, you can pick up a duplicate from the shop which unlocks extra abilities. Wait, that's crazy. This is like if you could just straight up... But like Gian, he is a premium banner character. Th this is literally like if uh, you could buy Fu Xuan Eidolons in the shop. Like just straight up buy Fu Xuan Eidolons with um, whatever the embers are. The, the, the star thingies that you get a few of whenever you pull things. Like that would be insane. Just directly flat out purchase Eidolons? That's insane. I literally didn't know about that until just now, actually. Now, bear in mind, it's only duplicates you would be able to pick up and not the actual character, unfortunately. Would have been insane if you could just save up and pick up a broken character on release. Either way, picking up dupes for free, technically, is still a godsend. Going over the premium True. weapon banners now. I did say earlier that weapons in majority of gacha games are usually more of a pain to pick up than the actual characters, which honestly it shouldn't be the case. And thankfully, Withering Waves is plugging us yet again. The weapon banner will guarantee the premium weapon within 80 summons. No 50-50 involved and you get exactly what you are. Okay, so no 75-25 like in uh, like in Honkai Star Rail. There is a 0% chance to fail. You will get the weapon whenever you pull it. <coughs> Genshin Kunova. The real cool real. of this game does revolve around combat. I have already gone over the echoes that can be used in combat. So pretty much everything that he just went over in terms of like the gacha system is almost exactly like Honkai Star Rail, but Everything is just very, very slightly more free to play friendly than Honkai Star Rail. It's like, oh, you thought Honkai Star Rail is free to play friendly. Well, we are just like them, except a little more even. Crazy. But now, what about the actual characters combat? Now, comparing the open world combats of this game to a game like Genshin, the enemies are a lot more challenging within Weathering Waves. The Hell bosses yeah. have attack patterns you will need to learn, parry, dodge, and react to. If you go into battle thinking you would be able to clear it on the first try, you are in for a treat. I seriously am looking forward to the combat and battles within this game, since it'll make beating bosses feel a lot more rewarding. And it's something myself and I know a lot of players within the gacha game community have been after. I know I am referencing Genshin a lot, but it's hard not to when both are open world games. Genshin was a bit too easy once you hit a certain point where you had your characters built up. With Weathering Waves, even if you are- Kyle open, Charo is so badass, bro. Boss dealing only I feel like every time I'm watching Kyle Charo gameplay in Weathering Waves, I'm like in a trance. I cannot wait to play this game. I'm 100% pulling that character. A few attacks to you. 
so it really does take some skill to clear the bosses. Also, the boss battles are accompanied by some really good OSTs, which Kuro Games is known for from their previous game, Punching Grey Raven. So yeah, as I said, you would need to learn the attack patterns and parry bosses, which kind of gives Soulsborne game vibes, which is going to be really interesting to see within an anime open world RPG. Overall, I am really hyped for the game and will definitely try to cover what I can leading up to it and when the game drops. If you oh my god, man. It's like the third time he has showed that he has showed uh, Yinlin's alt. Yinlin is so badass. Like, I think she is probably the most iconically designed character in the game. Uh, actually, Jian actually is really cool too because he has the, uh, like, the turquoise dragon that, like, he summons the dragon and then it, like, flies, flies through them a bunch of times whenever he's attacking. It looks really, really cool. People have been saying that the character design in this game is very bland. It seems like you could say that at least a little bit. I would say Calcharo is probably the least bland one out of all like the in the base game characters that I have seen so far that I can think of at this moment. And then the other characters that are kind of iconic is Jian and Yinlin, who are both uh, premium banner characters. So that kind of makes sense that their designs are a little bit more heartily worked on. Um, and also there is that one four star who has like that lion puppet or, or the dragon or whatever it is, um, like the Chinese dragon pet. Uh, I think that one, that one's pretty cool. There was gameplay of that somewhere. I don't know. Interested in more weathering waved content for myself would really appreciate it. If you could subscribe to the channel and drop a like. Also, drop a comment on yeah, what like you're this. looking forward to the most within Looks so cool. Wait. And yeah, hope to catch you guys later. Yeah. All right. Thank you all for watching. Uh, that was a very, very good video. I did a ton of yapping. I turned that seven minute video into a 22 minute video. So I'm not going to yap here at the end as well. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Head over to Ragnarok's channel. Let's get them to over 600 subs. That would be awesome. And also drop a sub here on this channel for more Weathering Waves content in the future, especially once the game actually drops. And I feel like I can make more unique content because I'll actually be able to play the game and get the knowledge I need to talk about, uh, you know, what I need to talk about. Right now, it's everything is just like what I've heard and what I've watched and what I'm reacting to currently right in front of you guys because that I, I didn't get into CBT, so is what it is um but that's okay that's okay because now the game's gonna be even more special whenever we get access to it thank you all for watching peace